we received iPads uh, through funding from the PTA. They saw a need and they saw some passion and enthusiasm and they saw that kids were really engaged with the tool and they wanted to see how we could use it in the classroom. Keep in mind when you're using the iPad to show the images from the electron microscope that you have some sort of frame of reference to it. I don't Not type in, what is it? Kids were able to bring in their own little items and trinkets and things like that. We brought them to the company. They sent them their scanned images of the electron microscope and they're now using the iPads to display those pictures in poplet and in note card form. And as a class when we come back they'll use that as a display to show the actual scanning of the electron microscope with the actual item in hand. So they're using it as a display tool right now. First one was the necklace. It's been a really wide range of uses for the iPads. We started in fifth grade and fifth grade did a lot of a lot more production. Some of the younger grades did a lot with educational games. So if they were if their group their classroom was involved in a guided reading activity, the children who were not meeting with the classroom teacher would be engaged in some specific apps that would focus in on what was being taught in the classroom during that time. The specialists are having their turn now. So in music we're seeing virtual keyboards and things like that. There's a lot of collaboration taking place because we have a smaller set. We don't have one iPad per student. They really are encouraged by that limitation, if you will, to collaborate. So they're taking turns, they're producing things together. No, no, it's going to be nothing. It's going to be nothing. What's no. the next one? It's exciting to see kids who normally wouldn't participate, maybe more the passive learner, just step right in and get really engaged really quickly. I learned my math facts using paper flashcards and wrote memory of turning those and they have flashcard deluxe as an app now and you can make flashcards for whatever unit that you're doing and what a, what a better way to study when you get them engaged in flipping using the iPad. It, they don't realize they're doing the learning aspect until it's over. It's fun. We did the note cards and you could go click and it could be for studying or anything. You could we did the picture of what our thing is. And then we said, what is it? And then if you touch it, it flips over and we gave you the answer. It's a chain of my friend's necklace that he brought in one day. Uh, the best way that I can say it right now is it's you're riding the top of the surf wave right now and who knows where it's gonna be six months from now because six months ago, it was very limited in the educational aspects of it, and it just continues to explode into where it's going to go next.